Hey friends, today we're doing another lower body day. This one is more focused on our quads and our calves and essentially our anterior chain, which is like the front of your body if you wanna think of it, very simplistic terms. A rundown of the equipment that you will be needing today. First, you're gonna need absolutely non-negotiable, something like a chair, box, or bench. You will be sitting down onto it and so I recommend that it is something kind of around your knee height, maybe a little higher, but probably not lower than that. Second, you're gonna want something to be able to elevate your heels slightly. A few options. Option one, most basic, you probably have this, is your yoga mat. Roll it up, don't like roll it, but like fold it a few times so that you can put your heels up onto it. You don't need your heels to be super high off the ground, but like a couple of inches. And what this is gonna do is when we go into our squat, it's going to make it a more quad focused exercise. Now, there are a couple other ways you can do this real quick. If you have a yoga block lying around, that is a perfect option. Toby has chewed up one of my other yoga blocks, so I'm sure he's gonna go after this one as well. But you can do that. Or if you're extra fancy, and I'm only extra fancy because this was sent to me, shout out to Slant Board Guy for sending this to me forever ago. <laughs> I've had it for a while and it's actually so handy. Super nice quality too. Not sponsored, but it was gifted. Same thing here, you can do this. Obviously this is probably the best option. But anyway, we got that. And then weight. You will want some kind of weight, whether that is dumbbells or kettlebells or jugs of water, <laughs> whatever you've got lying around. Or of course you can just do these body weight. Let me take this away before little Toby steals it. We're actually gonna do things for reps today versus doing them for time. That's actually how I prefer to train. I think it's a lot more effective. You're in better control of how much you are doing. It's easier to track that way. So we're gonna get going. We got a little warm up. I'm gonna talk you through everything, but that means no timers on the screen today, just me talking and I'll list the names of the exercises up on the screen, but just follow along. All right, let's get this little warm up going. I want you to just jog in place to start with. We're gonna switch it over to jumping jacks in three, two, one. Just getting our heart rate up a little bit, getting our muscles warm, blood flowing. All right, let's switch it back to jogging. Let's take some little just body weight squats. Really make sure that your knees are driving straight forward. They're not pushing inward. And it is okay for your chest to come forward a little bit. You don't need to be straight up and straight down. A few more. We're gonna turn our toes out and do the same thing. You can widen your feet a little if that's more comfortable. Knees out. Couple more. Good, we're gonna bring our feet underneath ourselves. We're gonna just stand on one leg. We're gonna do a little shallow squat and up, down and up 10 times. This is three and four. Press that whole entire foot into the floor. Ooh, don't fall. Six, seven, almost there, eight. Knee straight forward, don't let it knock in. One more. Switch side, same thing. Knee straight forward. Don't let it go inward. Press your pinky toe down. Stand nice and tall. I lost count, five, maybe. Six. Seven. Eight. Almost there. Nine. And 10. Let's just work through our feet a little bit. So just pressing into the balls of your feet. On the side, this is what I look like. Good. All right, I just want you to roll your ankles. Do the right side first, or the left side, whatever you want, drawing big circles. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And 
And we're gonna switch. Other foot. Big, big, big circles, getting those ankles warm. And same thing the other way. All right, let's just do a quick like roll straight down. This is not a core workout today, but we gotta get a little bit of core activation. First starting in a downward dog here. Pedal out your feet, so bend one leg, and then switch bend the other. So alternating like that a few more times. And then we're gonna move it into a plank. So I just want you to shift your weight forward over those hands, drawing your belly button in, closing your ribs, straightening as much as you can through your legs, pressing away from the floor with your hands, really making your fingertips all spread nice and wide. Pretend you're pulling the floor apart with your hands and then push it back up into downward dog. Repeat that again, so bending one leg at a time. Just letting our calves and ankles continue to loosen up a little. And then let's take it forward again into our plank. Let's hold again. Really push away from the floor. Make sure that your back's in a nice straight line. Almost there, a few more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, so our first move of the day is going to be a, kind of like a box squat. And you have the option to do this with two feet or with one. If you're gonna do two feet, you have your feet just a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Um, you can hold a weight here if you'd like, or you can do a body weight. And then you're gonna shoot your bottom back toward your seat, set yourself down, don't plop down, and then push straight back up to stand nice and tall. Option two, you're actually gonna take one leg out in front of you, and then it's the same exact concept. You can hold a weight again if you want, or just go body weight, but you're sitting back, 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 down, pushing straight back up. We're gonna do 10 of them. I'm gonna do single leg and I'm gonna hold a dumbbell in my hand. If you wanna go ahead and do this with two feet on the ground, you can do 10 and then do 10 more, or you can just do the 10 and then take an extra long rest. Whatever you choose, we're doing this for reps, remember. Make sure that you're not standing way too far away from your chair or your bench. You wanna be pretty close to it. And again, do not, as you bend, don't let your knee go inward. This is what I mean every time I'm saying that. Don't let it go in toward your big toe. You wanna think forward through the center. Gotta engage your glutes to be able to do that. All right, so here we go. Starting on the right side, we're gonna go for 10 of them. Here we go. Down, push back up. Again, down, push back up. That's two. Again, three, and up. Have four, keep going, you're down, and up, halfway there, this is six, big push, this is seven, push, two more, eight, well technically three, push, and nine, make sure you don't plop down, and push, let's rest for a second. I'm gonna just switch over to the other side. Do 10 more. I'm already feeling that one, I'm not gonna lie. That one's a pretty good like all around. <laughs> not just your quads are gonna be engaged, but your glutes will be engaged too. All right, a couple more seconds here before we switch to the other side. Same thing again, make sure you don't plop down. You really wanna control the movement. We have 10 more. Hoping y'all can see me okay if Toby is not too distracting. Here we go, you're down, and you're up. That's one, down, and up. That's two, keep going, and push, and four, and up. You got it, and up, and six, and up, seven, big push, and eight, you got it, plant that foot. Nine, last one. Nice, put that weight down, take a little breather. Let's do a full minute rest before we start on the other side. If that was feeling super easy for you, maybe 
either switch it to be on one leg if you're doing two legs or grab some weight. Grab some weight. I'm gonna be really honest with you. This is my second workout of the day. I already did my heavier gym workout earlier, so I'm a little bit fatigued. It's okay. Tomorrow I'm resting. Actually, no, I'm not. I have to film another video. LOL. All right, my friends. Let's start again on the first side. One thing to note is as I'm holding this weight, I'm keeping it pretty close into my chest here. I would avoid like holding it far away from you. And then I also hold it like this. I let it kind of rest in my hands so that I'm not using my upper body to hold this up. This is not an upper body exercise. This should be lower body. So you're kind of just letting it rest into your hands. Here we go, 10 on the right side again. You're down on one and up. Two and up. Keep that knee driving forward. Push up, lower down, and up. And five. And up. Very nice. Halfway there. Six. And up. Seven. Up. And eight. You got it. Two more. That's nine. One more time. Ten. Good, good, good. All right. 30 second rest. I'll let you know when to start again. Catch your breath. Breath, catch your breath. Whew. Alrighty, dears. Dears, pals, guys, gals, and pals. Left side. You're gonna look. You know what, it's not about looks, but I was gonna say, your legs are gonna look so good at the end of the summer after all these workouts, but you'll also feel really strong. So that's the real benefit. Here we go, 10 of them. You go down for one, push it up. Keep your core tight, push it up. We have three. Make sure all your toes are pressing to the floor and four, and your heel. Your whole foot should be flat. This is five. The weight is close to your chest. Six, big push. Seven, push. Ooh. Eight, push. Two more. Nine, last one. Make it the best one. 10, and push. Wonderful. All right. You know me. Pretty typical for me to do three sets of things. So we are gonna do one more set on each side. You do have another 40 seconds to rest though, so grab your water. I'm gonna grab some water, BRB. And then guess what, after this, I feel like the workout's gonna fly by. We really don't have many exercises today, so don't worry. The next one we do is not a single leg exercise. And then we have optional single legs for the rest, but they're not bad at all, I promise. It's gonna fly by. I feel like this one is the hardest thing and that's why we get it out of the way first, when we're fresh. Theoretically, when we're fresh. I'm not really fresh. I did a whole other session before this, but that is life. Here we go. It's time. Let's get this going. Your last 10 box squats. Here we go, party people. Three, two, one, and go. Lower down, push it up. That's one. Lower down, push it up. That's two. And up, three. Up, four, five, and six. You got it. Seven. 
I'm right there with you. Don't think that it's easy for me either. <laughs> Eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. Whew. I know this is a quad day, but like you still probably are gonna have a little bit of glute and hammy soreness tomorrow or the next day. Cause our legs, they, all the muscles usually are working. It's really hard to target just some of them. Okay, we have one more round on the other side. We got this. I gotta hurry scurry, cause look, it's getting dark in here. Hurry scurry. Hurry, hurry scurry. All right, I'm breathing heavily. I am doing cardio or something. All right, my dears, let's knock this out. Last 10, last 10, here we go. And a three, and a two, and a three, two, one, go. Lower it down, push it up. That's one, down, and up. That's two, down, and up. That's three, very nice, good. I can't see you, but I think you're doing a great job. And five, and lower, six, lower, keep going. Seven, you're almost there, you guys are so close. Push, push, push. Eight, you got it, two more, that's it. Nine, one more time. Big push. Yeah. Yay, 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 okay. Big full minute rest. Switching over to our elevated goblet squats. So let me show you, I'll face this way today. Face the front, Toby's here. He wants to squat. So your feet are gonna be parallel, toes pointed forward. And let me scoot myself back a little bit. Okay, you're here. Um, again, knees gotta drive forward. You're gonna get down, 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 nice and low. Push right back up. So you should be about, let's see, on the side, let me show you. You wanna get to maximum depth while still holding your muscles or I guess rather using your muscles to hold the position. You don't wanna just plop. That's plopping, you wanna hold. So you wanna get nice and low, but you wanna be controlling it. You don't wanna just sit into it, okay? So you can just go body weight or you can grab one of your weights again. You can do one weight and hold it like the goblet squat again, right here through the center. You can also bring them down by your sides and do or like a suitcase squat. Or last one is, you could bring them up here by your shoulders. You know what, pick your poison. I think I'm gonna go straight down by my sides. And these are two 20 pound dumbbells, so nothing crazy. But it is the heaviest that I have at home. So we're gonna make do with what we have. Alrighty, how many of these are we doing? Let's do 10 again. Let's do 10 again. Nice minute rest, three rounds. You got it, guys, I believe. Here we go, three, two, one. Lower it down, push it up. That's one, lower it down, push it up. Two, keep going, and three, and four, five, Six and seven. Notice I'm really controlling it. Eight. One more after this. And ten. Big push. Great. So one thing to talk about as you're resting is where you're distributing your weight, that's going to impact where you feel this. If you're like really feeling it in your core, and like it just feels weird, you might actually need to put more weight into your toes. So think forward over your toes and then push up from there, then you'll get your legs turned on. Sometimes if you try to do this and you're kind of sinking back, I don't know, it just makes my core like turn into knots and that's not really fun. So just keep that in mind. We got another round ahead of us. Continue your rest for a little bit longer. Whew. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Toby's going at it. No toy is left with stuffing in this household. Not on Toby's watch or tags. He loves to rip tags off of things. I think that's what he's trying to do right now. It's crazy. And this is after taking him to the dog park, going on a nice long walk. He slept a good bit today. Like I give him everything he needs. He just has these desires. All right, I'm done rambling. Let's do this guys. I think this round, I want to switch it up. I want to do it to my shoulders. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, go. Down one, up one, down two, up two. Keep going, three, and push, and four, push, five, halfway there, six, good, seven, you got it, knees driving forward, don't let them buckle in. I think we have three more. Eight, and nine, last one, that's 10. Beautiful. All right, a minute of rest, a minute of rest. It's only been 20 minutes. We're flying through this, guys. Woohoo! Rest, rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest. I have nothing to say right now. I'm all yapped out. Let's get this last round done and finish this workout out. We're almost there. Okay, 10 more. Beautiful squats, please. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Down for one, up for one, down for two, up for two, down three, and up. Down four. You got it. Push, push through those feet. Ken, you gotta push away from the floor as you come up. Push. Very nice. I think that's six. I think this is seven. Eight. Almost there. Nine. Last one. Ten. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Let's take a seat for a moment. Let's get these hip flexors working. Now, there are many ways to work our hip flexors and some will argue that this method is not the absolute best because we're not putting the hip through full range of motion. But I think that for a more accessible exercise, this is a good version. And I think this is a good starting point for a lot of people. So we're gonna sit really nice and tall. I have one leg bent and my other leg is straight. And then I'm gonna get Toby out of the way. And then all you're gonna do is lift your leg straight up, place it straight back down. And we're gonna do that 10 times. If you want, if you want like some guidelines of how to, where to lift your leg up, I like to put my bottle or like a dumbbell down. And as I'm sitting, I lift my leg up and over it. And that ensures I'm going at the same height every time and I'm not kind of cheating it. So I'm gonna go for 10 of these total over. Every single time you go over, that's one. Here we go, sit yourself up. It's really important that you sit nice and tall. And here we go. This is one and two and three. Keep your leg nice and straight. Four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's switch immediately to the other side. Same thing here, one leg bent, other leg straight, sitting tall. Here we go, three, two, one, lift it up, that's one. And two, and three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Let's go immediately into the other side. All right, Toby's really getting it messy in here. I'm gonna angle myself a little bit. This next round, here we go. Three, two, one, lift it up. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch again. I'm also trying to speed through the rest of this because Toby feels, he's looking a little restless. I think he wants to start barking. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift it up, one, and two, and three, four. Toby, move. Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. All right, we're gonna do one more round. Final round. Really push yourself. Get that leg nice and high and get your back nice and straight. Here we go, three, two, one. Go. One, two, three, four. Challenge is if you just don't let your leg touch the ground at all. And eight, nine, 10, switch legs. Or at least try not to let it slam down every time. We go one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay guys, we're gonna round it out with a calf burner. I hate saying burner, cause like, it doesn't matter what it feels like. What matters is what you're actually doing, what kind of stress you're putting your muscles in. But you're gonna go single leg calf rise. So I'm gonna put my other leg in like a little coupe and feel free to hold on to a wall or a bar or whatever you have and just lift that heel up off the ground as high as you can. The other thing you can do is if you want to amp it up a notch is you can actually hold on to a dumbbell. And I prefer to do this on the leg that I'm going up on. You can hold it down by your side or bring it up here to your shoulder. Now, if single leg on its own is a little bit too much for you, then just do both feet together. No shame in the game but make sure your legs are staying really nice and straight and you're getting up as high as you possibly can. So I'm gonna do single leg, starting on my right side. I'm gonna do 12 of them. Here we go. Three, two, one. We go up one and two and three, keeping that leg nice and straight. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 11, 12, turn to the other side. Or just rest if you're doing them on two feet. Here we go, we go up one, and two, three, oh, don't fall, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Switcheroo. Again, first side, three, two, one, go. Lift up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Other side. We're getting there, guys, we're almost there. Three, two, one, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're going straight up. Don't let that ankle wiggle. And 10, two more, 11, 12. All right, one more round on each side. My calves are, ooh, feeling it, feeling it. Here we go, first side. Three, two, one, go. One, and two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last round. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push it up. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, 10, almost there. 11, last one, 12. All right, let's put those weights down. We're gonna finish it out with a wall sit with a heel lift. So you're gonna come against your wall, sit it back, get your legs so that they're parallel to the floor 90 degrees, and then we're just gonna pick up our heels and lower them down. We're gonna do this 20 times. Here we go, three, two, one. Up one, two, three, four, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great work, you guys. We're gonna leave it off there, finish it out with that. You can repeat a couple more sets of that if you feel so inclined, but that's gonna be it for us today. I really hope you enjoyed this workout and I hope to have you back for tomorrow's upper body day. We're doing a pull day tomorrow. So that'll be super fun and I hope to have you back. All right, bye.